School upgrades at Akron City Schools. New since 6, the district laying out new plans after several recent violent incidents inside the classroom. Jeff Lawson listened in on tonight's announcement and Jeff, the district wanted to be clear that changes need to happen and they need to happen ASAP. Yeah, this meeting took five hours. Wow. Essentially, this was a long meeting to get through because a lot of parents and teachers really concerned about the violence that has happened in and out of Akron schools. In particular, an Akron school saw a student with a handgun in his locker on Friday, which is thus kind of bumped up the need for some of this security. The plan would essentially center around metal detectors. So at 17 different schools, we'll get into the numbers in a second, students would go through metal detectors with their bags. These metal detectors have an ability to try and determine and be able to see if there is some sort of a weapon in there. Apparently, they can distinguish between things like water bottles and guns. However, during a demonstration, one of these school board members had on them some sort of a small razor and the metal detector did not detect them. That was a major point of contention. If one of the bags does mark that there is a potential for a weapon, then the student would be brought over to a bag detection area. A bag detection type of machine would then analyze that machine. If they are cleared, they would go through another metal detector and then into the building. It's quite a lot of stuff there, and especially when you consider how much more is being done other than those metal detectors. So what this would do, they would replace all of the cameras. They would have those metal detectors, as I had said, had said, 61 of them in 17 different schools. Bag scanners, 23 of them in 17 different schools. And in addition to that, there would be additional training. In total, this will cost $3.5 million. However, teachers that spoke at this meeting believe this may not even be enough. I am not being dramatic. My colleagues and I wonder not if our building will become a statistic, but when. How can we do our jobs? How can we educate these children in this environment? How can I even focus on teaching when I worry that I must be severely injured before an assault on me is taken seriously by this administration? Now, I mentioned that this was a fairly contentious vote. It did end up passing, and each individual part did end up passing as well. However, there was a concern that the metal detectors were not strong enough or needed to be beefed up a little bit more. However, it did pass. The first things that we will start to see are the cameras replaced and then the metal detectors. Everything should start to be fully operational by the spring. Jeff Slauson, 19 News. Now